So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the benefits of minimalist training and reasons why you should do minimalist workouts. So let me briefly explain what minimalist training is, or at least give you an idea of what I mean, because many people have their own definitions and in a way it can be individual. So when I talk about minimalist training, I'm referring to not doing excess work, doing extra exercises to extra volume, which isn't always needed. The idea that more isn't always better. More exercises and more volume doesn't always mean extra gains. What I want to do is the minimum work needed to get the most gains or the minimum effective dose for training. An example I always give is why do several chest exercises like several bench variations to fly variations when you can work smarter and get enough of a stimulus to create gains just doing the flat bench or why do 10 sets of an exercise where I can stimulate growth and make progress doing five sets. Minimalist training doesn't mean less for the sake of less and if you need to add in extra exercises or do extra volume you do it but it serves a purpose you do what's needed and not to an excess. So now we have a basic understanding of what it is let's look at the benefits of minimalist training so number one your programs and training is more focused this means you have more time and energy to learn and master exercises if you have 20 exercises to learn for your whole body it will take a long time to master them if you even can but if you only have say three to six exercises you have more ability and time to master them leading to more long-term gains and efficiency within that movement which is especially important when it comes to strength training and injury prevention number two your workouts can take less time and be more efficient. This is a factor that is extremely important to many people and it is key to consistency for many people. Many will say that if you don't put in the time and if you don't want to, you are lazy and not committed. But we have to realize that there are many people that live a busy, hectic life and exercise isn't their top priority for them, especially when they have busy jobs and want to spend time with their families. Having an effective way to build muscle and doing strength training that allows you to work your whole body doesn't take multiple hours a week. To help you to do that is going to get a lot of people to make them bigger stronger and fitter and that is a powerful tool if you are short on time then definitely consider doing minimalist training make sure you hit that subscribe button as i will be adding some minimalist workouts and programs in the future so hit that bell so you get notified when they go live so number three we have it's easier to control your recovery so why is this important well we grow and progress when we recover so if we get more efficient at recovery we will go further in our training we will hit less plateaus potentially less injuries the question is how does minimalist training do this well if you're doing shorter quicker and less exercises we will tend to do less volume the less volume we do it makes it easier for our body to recover instead of doing say 15 to 20 set workouts which can be hard on the body to recover doing 5 to 10 will likely be easier for the body to recover and to adapt from and number four managing tracking and creating progressive overload is easier progressive overload is an important factor in wanting to get bigger stronger and fitter when doing minimalist training this is easy because you have less exercises to program for it's easy to see what's working and what's not if you don't know a lot about programming having less exercises to manage to adjust the volume and intensity for minimalist programming is just far easier Easier. Secondly, if you only have so much energy per workout to weekly, if you have to split that energy over multiple exercises, it will limit how hard you can go, how much further you can push yourself with volume and intensity, whether you hold yourself back or by the last exercise you're just tired. This can impact your progress. Imagine putting that energy into one or two exercises and only doing say three to five sets. How much harder could you go in those sets for those exercises? Imagine the gains from that. Number five, your workouts and programs have more flexibility. So how and why is it more flexible? First of all, if you have less exercises you have more ability to swap out exercises so if you're doing a chest worker and you're doing bench dips push-ups and flies when it comes to changing something or adding something else what can you do you're doing all of the main ones sure you could change the angle of the press but it's very similar but if you're doing minimalist training you could swap out the bench for the dip or vice versa you could add in a push-up or a fly you can add and take away exercises as and when needed to make progress plus if the bench is in use at the gym don't worry you can add in the dip and you're still good to go secondly it has Having that flexibility is important to limiting plateaus and also mental boredom. You have more flexibility to mix things up, which is good for your mental and physical training. Hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe for more calisthenics and fitness content.